Okay, I was gonna say good morning, but like, it's not the morning, it's like 5 p.m. Welcome to another video. <laughs> so today, Peyton and I are going to the beach in Sarnia to test out some sessions that I might be offering in the meantime while I wait to be able to offer indoor ones again. Usually I don't offer packages without makeup because it just like takes away from a huge part of the experience, but I figured in the meantime, like I get requests for beach sessions every single year. And this year I was sad I was going to do them, but then I don't have time to do them because I have two clients a day almost every day for July and August. So I just don't have the time to fit them in. So I was toying with the idea of offering, offering like four sessions, maybe eight, depending. Anyway, so Peyton and I are going to test it. I'm going to shoot her to test that everything is going to work out and that it looks good and that I like it. So I'll show you the, this is the bathing suit that I am wearing. We got, these blue bottoms are from Zaffle. Just like, oh, the tag's like hanging right out there. But yeah, these are from Zaffle, they tie on the bottom. I really like that you can adjust it. Anyways, top is from Airy. I absolutely love it. It's like a sports bra, it's my favorite thing. And I might not end up in the water, but I always like to wear a bathing suit in case when I do beach sessions or water sessions. I'm gonna see if I can find the picture, but there's a picture of me in a pool. I'll pop it up here if I can find it. Um, for a shoot that I did back when I was doing creative portrait sessions. And yeah, I just like to be prepared in case I have to get in the water, because you know, gotta do what you gotta do to get the shot. I'm gonna be taking you behind the scenes with us today, and I'm really excited about it. Peyton got a new bathing suit that she wanted to shoot, so I was like, this is perfect. Okay, first things first, fresh battery for my camera. This is my camera bag. I don't know if I've ever showed this on this channel. It's a fat mess right now, but I shoot with the five Canon 5D Mark IV. Four, no, Mark IV, whatever IV is, that's four, right? Mark four, Mark five, Mark four, I think. <laughs> and I shoot with the Canon 16 to 35 millimeter lens. I am a huge wide lens gal. I don't know, I've just always loved the look of wide. So that's what I'm bringing. And then I just have like a bunch of other random shit. Eventually I'll do maybe what I use for gear. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in that, let me know down in the comments anyways. Fresh battery, I gotta put that in there. And then I also freshly charge my vlog camera batteries. So those are going to be coming with us, of course, as well. Okay, I am actually gonna leave my flash at home because there's no chance I'm gonna need that. So first thing I always do is format my card. I am going to switch the battery out for the new one. I'm going to stick my the long camera batteries in this little pencil case. I keep, there's lots of lingerie tags in here, like the boudoir photographer. Um, but I keep like a lighter, some pens. I keep an extra memory card in here in case for whatever reason I forgot my memory card because I've done that before. Um, and then I keep like an extra phone charger always. I'm gonna bring that in case my phone dies in the car. But everything else I'm gonna leave because I don't wanna lug like I use this 50 millimeter 1.8. This was my first lens I ever bought. I still have not got rid of it. Um, so I'm gonna leave that at home. No, I'm gonna bring that. We're gonna bring that just in case I wanna use it. I likely won't, I haven't reached for it in a long time, but just in case. We're gonna leave my charger at home. We're gonna leave the other battery at home. Shirt, thrifted, pants, thrifted, as per usual. Whenever people ask me where my clothes are from, 95% of the time they're thrifted, but I believe this is an or originally a Topshop shirt, and I don't know where these are originally from, but they're really comfy and they're really soft, so. I'm gonna grab a Red Bull, and then we are going to get the F out of here and go pick up Peyton. And you know what? I need to leave even earlier because I need to go get gas, because I decided not to get gas two days ago when I was last in my car. If that's not the epitome of being an adult, I don't know what is. That sentence right there. So, I'm just waiting for Peyton. And while I'm waiting for Peyton, the reason why I test things before I try them on clients is because if I don't like the result, and I'm very picky, I am not going to bring it to clients because they deserve the best of the best. So this process for me is, it was, so I came up with the idea because 
I've been getting requests for beach shoots for years now and just never really been able to like make it happen with makeup and like the traveling and because I live about uh, 45 minutes to an hour away from any beach. So it's just a little bit difficult and the only real option in terms of like making it doable for makeup was to like rent an Airbnb, have Peyton do the makeup out of the Airbnb and then um, have them meet me at the beach after. Uh, but it was just too much, too many moving parts so it was never like feasible. Whereas now, because there'll be no makeup involved and I can't shoot inside and makeup's not allowed to be done, I figured I'd give some people, you know, some opportunities to book something they've been requesting for so long. So you're gonna see a little bit of the behind the scenes from this shoot and you'll see that there's not really a whole lot of, like there'll be direction, but this isn't like a, like a client shoot would look. This is very different. This is very like, I'm trying things. I like that there's no time limit. On it like there's no time pressure I don't have you know 30 minutes only to do it that's why I like to test things because if I'm gonna do these they're 30 minute sessions I don't really have a whole lot of time to experiment and I don't want to use clients paying clients as test subjects you know what I mean so that's why Peyton and I are going if I don't like these how these photos turn out like if I don't want to offer them to clients or if you know the lighting doesn't turn out the way I want it to then at least there's no pressure and and it gives Peyton and I an excuse to have some creative fun or you know what I mean to just like experiment and have fun with it so 